What's up guys? We are back with another episode of 1320 Video Uncut. We are in Dallas this week for the Wanna Go Fast Half Mile Shootout here in Dallas. Uh, we got here a day early. We dropped the trailer off just now and we have nothing to do all day. So I hit up Tony Palo and asked if we could stop by his brand new shop and he said, man, that's really gonna, like, that's really distracting and everything, but I guess you can stop by. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go distract the out of him the day before a really big event. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, he gave us the address. We're going to his brand new shop. They just moved into it maybe a month or two ago. I don't even know if they're all the way moved into it, but it's a brand new shop. I'm pretty excited to see it. We're gonna take you guys along. You excited? Yeah. I'm excited. Ken's excited. So is fam. And we're here. We're at Tony's new shop here, T1 Race. There's not even signage on it, which makes it kind of, makes it, I don't even know where to go in here. Hello. Hello, oh, there's Brandon. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> oh, hey, up, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, it's the 1320 group. That's hey, witty. That's just witty. What's up, Tony? Hey. We decided to come distract you today. Oh, all right. How's it going? It's going good. You want to show us around the shop a little yeah. bit? Yeah. This is a really nice shop you got here. So you guys got some projects you're working on for the event tomorrow? Uh, no. No? No. We only have um, one car running tomorrow. Mitch's GTR, the white one. Okay. Nobody's real excited about the half mile stuff. So the streetcar takeover is next weekend and more of our guys are excited about that. Gotcha, so, so we're not distracting you that badly today. No, we're, we're this is just a normal day. This isn't day before a race, this is just a normal day. Oh, okay, I don't feel that bad then. Yeah, uh, George's car is undergoing some some kind of big renovations. That's the carbon stock location car? Yep, quite a few years ago when I had the Alpha 20 kit on my car, we built a pretty sick air to water intercooler setup for it. And then we went front mount and then it didn't work anymore. So it's been sitting on a shelf waiting for somebody to grow up to that level. Mm -hmm. So uh, put that on there, put our drag front bumper on there, um, doing the turbo inlets feeding from the bumper. Yeah, so that one we'll be racing uh, a streetcar takeover and we're actually gonna put my wing on his car. Really? Uh, for that. Yeah, it's just switch trunk lids, right? The trunk, yep. Nice. So let's see if we can't lower the record a little more. Hell yeah. And then uh, this is Jeff Hageman's GTR, so he's going to run it at uh, oh. Streetcar Takeover. Nice. Wild man. Yeah, no, the, the we, we love Jeff because he's, <laughs> he's crazy and he just doesn't care. Yes. He will drive it and if it pop, if it like something happens, yeah, I'm just going to keep driving it. That's yeah, Jeff. That's Jeff. That's Jeff. <laughs> Tell us about this thing. That's a... Uh, Keeps my garage warm a lot of times. Yeah, I know it, you build, you build like 2,000 horsepower GTRs for a living, and this is in your garage. So yeah. it's a uh, it's got a Hefner twin turbo kit. That's kind of all I know about it. It was all built when I bought it, and I haven't done anything with it yet besides drive it. Gotcha. That's kind of neat. The way it looks. I I mean, it's a timeless car. I think I don't think anybody here hates the look of a Ford GT. <laughs> what, what's the power on it? It's supposed to be about 850. I haven't had it on the dyno or anything. It's just running pump gas. You have a dyno and you haven't put it on the dyno. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I man. also have a Motec for it that I haven't put on. <laughs> We've been uh, a little busy. Gotcha. Gotcha. We had to be out of the old shop by the end of February. Mm -hmm. And this place wasn't ready yet. So it was like the last couple weeks of February. It's like we, we got to get out of the old shop. Just move it over here and put it back, keep it out of the way so they can finish construction. We got in and got set up enough to get the, the cars ready for 2K. And they came back from 2K and I'm like, all right, stop working on everything. We need to get the shop sorted. So we're, we're almost there. We're probably 90% set up. Gotcha. Speaking of 2K, I know your car was going to have some big renovations done to it after 2K. Are you guys, yeah, are you guys already? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Just came in today. Yeah. Oh, shit. I thought this was a door to outside. No, oh, no, it just keeps going. So this is where the dyno is and the fab and dirty stuff and uh, alignment rack. Just that's that that looks that looks fancy. That's the gear changer. Hey, that's the gear changer. Hey, hey, Scott. How are you doing? So that goes on your Liberty. 
That is the Liberty. That is the Liberty. That is the Liberty. Yeah. All seven gears of it. Se or seven gears. Yep. Damn. What do you get into six gear on the? No. We uh, with the current gear ratios, uh, we just barely get into fifth uh, on the drag strip. Uh huh. But that's a problem. That's all the turbo surge issues you hear us talk about and this and that. It's because the RPM drops too big. So uh, by narrowing up that RPM drop, we, we're going to be able to get by with a much larger turbo without it causing us all the downsides. Nice. Everything's in process. Uh, this just came in. Converters being built, quick drives being built, uh, bell housing, engine plate adapter, all that stuff. And just to remind our fans, in case they didn't watch your video from that we had from 2K, you're putting a Liberty in it in the GTR. Yep. Uh, Ford nine inch. Is that yep. right? And it's going to be rear wheel drive only. Correct. So it's going to leave Still like Still independent it. rear suspension. Okay. Um, rear wheel drive, that with a torque converter. So it's going to leave like a proper race car. Is it going to have like, a, <laughs> like a bump box and all that too? Yep. Damn. It's going to be a full on drag car mm -hmm. then. Hell it's yeah. going to be like Street Outlaw. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you might make it on Street Outlaws with that thing. I think it'd run pretty good. Yeah. My, key fob. <laughs> my mom has a 2004 Ford Taurus. That is the same key fob. That is the same one. So it's just like the Lambo stuff, it's just different. I really, I really hope they step their game up with a new GT with the key fob. I'm sure they did. I hope so, because this thing deserves a better key fob than that. <laughs> Ford, what do you, what are you guys thinking? <laughs> I think that he needs to prove it's the key and start it up. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so good. I wish you could smell that. <laughs> oh, what's that smell like? Freedom. That smells like freedom right there. Rev it up. Come on, Tony. Rev it up. Let's hear them turbos. That's awesome. We came to a GTR shop. I think this is probably the lowest horsepower car in the shop and we're all freaking out about it. And it's not even a GTR. So I've always wanted to ride in one of these. Yeah. I never even sat in one. Do you think we can do that? Let's today? go for a ride. Yeah. So you gotta it kinda comes down and then at the very end it goes straight in. <laughs> Like a dr I've, I, I love these cars so much, I've never ridden in one, so thank you very much. That was Cross that one off the list. Yeah. Road and Ford GT. Cross <laughs> that one off the list. All right, so we just did the math, and in the shop right now, with all the GTRs combined, all the cars, everything, there is 23,000 horsepower in this one building. 
that's pretty awesome. And 99% of them are GTRs. They had the 4 GT and there's a 300 ZX in the room next door, but 23,000 horsepower in one room is ridiculous. What you doing? Hi, Fred. Hey. I am upgrading George's car. Here we are putting Tony's old Alpha 20 air and water setup on it. Mm -hmm. And a closed front bumper. And some cool ass intakes. And some other little miscellaneous things underneath here that you won't see. And uh, he's facing that record. And uh, The has, record he already has? He has sixes in his mind now and he still wants to do it. He wants, stock to, location. he wants to do six of the stock location? He said two days ago on the phone when he called me, he wants to try. He wants to pull everything out the inside, everything out front of the bumper. Wants to do carbon doors, Lexan windows all the way around, not just like a windshield in the back. He wants to do front sides. So this will be like full race car like Tony's car? Yeah. Um, we're gonna probably another wing on the back too like Tony's like permanently. Uh -huh. um, he wants to do whatever it takes and he wants to leave the car preferably with this turbo kit. So, let's have to see. That would be crazy. A six second stock location car. No car has even come close to that. This is, but this is the closest car that's come to that. It is currently. And uh, next weekend, street car takeover, we're gonna try and inch a little closer to that. Nice. With these few extra little mods. I won't do it. I mean, not by the weight alone. It's a big killer for this mm -hmm. car. Traction Limited 2, it's Ennis. And it's not the greatest track anyway for it, so that's what we're going to put Tony's wing on here. Gotcha. That's what Tony said. Need every little bit he can get on this thing. It was pretty sketchy already at the last event, so um, I'm going to try and keep this thing planted. So. Good luck. Thank you. He's going to be pissed that this isn't carbon, by the way. Because he is a thing for carbon, right? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see here, that's his old bumper. Um, it's finally time to retire that thing. Um, it's carbon everything. I think he had a hard time letting it go, but you just got to keep going faster. I think it's cool. Enough. There you go. Well, good luck to you guys. Matt Booty Cam. Is that your bike? Dan, this is a big flat. Is that, that the bike? The bike that I had. So before I got into cars, when I worked at the bike shop, that was the bike that I bought. I was 16, 15 or 16 years old when I bought that. Well, yeah, you built it, didn't you? Yeah. Did you build it or did you just buy it? Well, I mean, I assembled it. So this is Tony Palo's first build right here. <laughs> yep, seat post is broken, but everything else still works. This is Tony Palo's first build right here. Right there. <laughs> Everybody sees it. There you go. This homeless man snuck up here into the attic and is trying to steal parts. We came up with the fitments that fit the GTR. So we have a, a 15 by 12. They had a 15 by 11, and I wanted a wider wheel because the tire is, you know, closer to 13 inches wide. Okay. Uh, so we got a 15 by 12 to fit with some custom suspension arms. So we do the 15 by 12s and then the 17 inch front wheel is exclusive to us because we got that fitment all worked out with custom brakes and all that. Um, so we sell all of them. There's 17s, 18s, 15s here. Uh, we do whatever you want as far as uh, powder coating and everything. So we just do all the assembly here because it doesn't make sense to buy them assembled and then disassemble them and code. And yeah. So we just we just keep all the raw parts in stock and build them as needed. So we offer nice um, what we call a drag pack. So it's all the suspension pieces you need all the brake pieces you need to clear the smaller wheel, just as a complete bolt-on kit. <laughs> this is this is your, I guess, a parts elevator. It's weight rated to what? 200 pounds. Witty weighs like 140 soaking wet. 160. Oh, I'm well, sorry. Still pretty low. Oh, you're a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> hey guys. That's awesome. This is the epitome of distracting the guys when they should be working, in, but we're okay with it. I think Tony is okay with it. So. Okay, so what room is this of the shop? Stewart's. This is Stewart's porn this is, room. This is where we do our glamour shots. Right here is where you put all the injectors and what. I can't even tell, like the camera can't even tell where. <laughs> Where, there's a curve there, That's like right. the wall, there it is. The wall's curved, as you can see there. You can't really tell when you're looking at it, though. <laughs> so this office was built out, and it was kind of a small office, and I didn't really have a use for it. But we've got all this camera stuff, and um, you know, we had that white box, the little light box thing mm -hmm. in the office before, and I was like, you know what, why don't we just use make, that? Make a big room for it. Yeah. 
I'm trying to look as stupid as possible. If that worked, did that work? <laughs> it looks like the camera's attached to my shoulder. You don't like... have to try that hard, so. <laughs> oh. This is Stuart. Stuart, you want to tell everybody what you do here? Because I don't even know what you do anymore. Um, officially. What, what's your business card say? Officially, I'm the project manager. Project so manager. I handle all the customer bills on GTRs, and then I do all the basic accounting, all the purchasing, all the receiving, uh, customer support, sales, videos, all the media, all the social media. So if a customer is upset, they yell at you. If they're upset with their injectors, I probably won't handle that. One of my team yeah. sales guys will, but anything GTR related is myself and Tony. Gotcha. All right, so this is Brandon. He is the engine assembly guy here. Yeah. You build all the engines. That means you built Tony's engine? Yeah, Tony's. That means you built. Actually, built I think this is. I have to look at my list. I think this is the 82nd or 83rd engine that I've put together in the last two and a half years or something. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, built, built quite a few of them. And you built, I'm guessing you built the engine that went in the world record holder right now? Alpha Logics. Yeah, they've got three or four with us. They've got two billet engines and two stock casting ones. Those, um, back when Ikanu, yeah. two years ago, did all his, that was, that was really something doing his. So, I love it. Just, Got my nice little space in here now. Door's got a lock on it so I can keep everybody out. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got some windows for all the light and stuff. Yeah, this is a nice little setup. Compared to the little, they just threw you in the corner before yeah. and you were building like 2,000 horsepower engines in the corner I of the know, shop. I like the shipping department and everything like that. What was really bad was the old shop in Rowlett. The engine room was in front of the dyno space and it was about as big, it actually was smaller than this little space right here. It had like a little window AC unit and stuff like that on it. It was, uh, it was pretty, pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> now they spoil you with your own room, so. I know, yeah, he's really done it up. I'm happy for him though, you know what I mean? Like, dude started out working on Hondas just like, you know, me and everybody else and just tinkering in his garage and now he's got this, you know, massive freaking facility. Yeah, this, this is impressive. This is really freaking cool yeah, to see. Yeah, so it's, it's really neat. I mean, not even from just like an employee standpoint, being with him for so long, but having followed him as a person, watching him kind of come up to this, it's been pretty cool to be a part of it all. This building also houses Tony's other company, which is uh, Injector Dynamics. So all of these guys right here, fill your orders and ship out all of your injectors if you in order from injector dynamics so these guys are the ones that ship out your orders right injector dynamics right here and here's a bunch of injectors what's up hey what's going on man? how much you want to ex explain to our our, uh, our viewers what you're doing over here uh so as far as this so we kind of get like a little description of what we gotta like go through so you know here's like a little small order right here and then uh, i'll just go through and make the equipment for the application so that uh, when the customer gets them they're ready to go can you can you pretty much guess what what car it's going to go on judging by like the, the specs and stuff yeah that you so get? it's funny so uh before we started getting these little part numbers right here they used to be you know the different applications that, right uh everything came in as far as like making model and so that's what kind of like you kind of like drained in me you know so, so you're like, oh, this is this is for a Honda Civic, or this is for a CTSV, yeah, or much. this is <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff pretty much it's, it just burned into me now. That's crazy. <laughs> don't do it, Kenton. You just got a new daily. You don't need a GTR. Kind of like a GTR. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy a Lexus and a CTSV, you just got that. You car. just got the Lexus, <laughs> like literally two days ago. Holy oh, shit! Kind of cool though. All-wheel drive. I could drive it in the winter. You're supposed to get one of these before the Corvette. I know I should have. All right, guys, you ready to go? You ready to get out of here? I don't want to, but I think we've uh, delayed their progress on whatever projects they're doing enough today. All right, Tony, we're gonna get out of here. Get out of your hair. Thanks for letting us annoy you for the day. Were you being funny when you said get out of my hair? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tony, we'll see you later. See you guys. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and do it from us at uh, T1 Race Development. Thank you so much to Tony and the crew for showing us around the shop all day, including the injector dynamic stuff. That was really cool to see. And your new shop is freaking gorgeous. Uh, thank you so much to Tony for taking me out. And that's a bucket list thing for me to ride in a Ford GT. I've never done that before. All the cars I've ridden in, never done that before. So thank you so much to Tony for letting me do that. And yeah. Uh, congrats, uh, congrats on the new shop. We'll see you guys at the half mile tomorrow. And we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, thanks for watching that video. If you have not checked out our merch store recently, we have over 100 items on there with a bunch of new releases. We're going to have a link in the description below. Also, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, comment on this video. We want to hear from you guys. We want to get some feedback. Let us know what you guys think about this behind the scenes stuff, our vlogs, what you guys want to see on here. We want to hear all the comments you guys have. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next video.